Well, don't know what's gonna happen there, but obviously we're gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking at some point. Right? I mean, we're gonna have to take a, the snowman piece, bring it all the way across the world, and then bring it back to the other dude. Snowman piece, heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. I don't know what that means, though. The ends of the earth. It means the ends of this area, leading back up to the surface? And then I go from there all the way back to snowman? That sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know how long this place actually is. And now I can't see. Oh boy. Uh oh, there's Papyrus. Oh shit. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall not be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... My what? Friend? No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh, jeez. Papyrus blocks the way. Uh... I guess I can flirt. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, well I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I could make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know what's sad? I actually can't make spaghetti. I mean, I probably could easily learn. I just have never made spaghetti, so I don't know. I lied. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date. Uh, let's date later, after I capture you. Oh, uh, no. Okay. I mean, Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Let's keep flirting. Oh, no! Let's date later! All right. You gonna, you gonna do anything, buddy? Papyrus, in attack, two defense. He likes to say, Nye -he -he -he. Nye -he -he. <laughs> uh, Okay. All right, Toby Fox. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Yep. Handling your blue attack. Wow, if I was moving and getting hit by all these, I'd just be dead instantly, huh? Oh god! Whoa, whoa! What happened? You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now! Yeah, that is... That is something that is in fact there and correct, baby! Oh god, the music's exchanged! I can't just keep on standing up in the air, huh? Oh shit! Oh no! I knew things were too easy for my own good. Papyrus Dev's MTT brand bishy cream behind his ear. Dude, come on! What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Come on, you gotta think about the date. But oh god, you're hitting your date! You shouldn't punch your girl on your first date! I mean, I'm not a girl, but she still shouldn't punch me. That makes me sensitive. Hold up longer to jump higher, jeez! I did jump higher, I just kind of fell down. Gravity's a thing, don't you know, Papyrus? Easy peasy. I should probably stop moving, this actually would be easier if I did that. Papyrus dabs MTC round cute juice behind his ear. You know, I'll flirt again. Uh, Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back? Come on! Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! You have a special attack? Is it... What, is it gonna make me red? I'd like to go back to being red. It makes me float around. I can almost taste my future popularity. Yep, you do that. You keep tasting your future popularity. And maybe you'll also eventually taste spaghetti. Fuck! That was a sneak attack, Papyrus. You shouldn't sneak attack people. That's shady shit. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Damn, you like hearing yourself talk. 
Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, that was mean. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. Spaghetti? Spaghettore. Oh, jeez. You're not getting me with that sneak attack. Oh, God. There's more. There's more. Oh, okay. Papyrus is preparing a, preparing a bone attack. Right, okay. What about flirting? Damn it. Stop trying to fight me. Undine will be really proud of me. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Undine? Undine? I just don't know. Ow! Fucking stupid bones! Okay, alright. I know the secret to success now. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Are you gonna attack me with yourself? The king will trip, trip a hedge in the shape of my smile! That is a pretty amazing spy you got there, buddy. It helps you don't have lips to construct it. You should know, humans have lots of skin. But in the end, we are skeletons on the inside as well. My brother! Well, he won't change very much. Ah, at least he admits it. Ow. Oh, jeez. Yep, just gonna eat myself some, uh... Nice cream. Is this as sweet as you? Yes, it's very nice. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But what? Will you feel bad about sending your date into prison? Or whatever the hell's gonna happen to me? Papyrus whispers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I don't know, Papyrus. Currently in the middle of a little bit of an internal debate right now. Not ow, you son of a bitch! Oh, what is this moving bullshit? Papyrus, is that your special attack? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Papyrus. Someone like you is really rare. Yeah, especially when you kill them. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Smells like bones. Well, that is exactly what it is. And dating might be kind of hard. When your date's dead? Yeah, I agree. Oh, God. Don't speed it up, man. <laughs> you get me into a rhythm. After your caption is sent away. Ah, oh, okay. You're just continuing on from last sentence. Ow. Ugh. I should have bought more health items. This is a good lesson. Thank you, Papyrus. Ugh, who cares? Give up. I don't want to give up. You have to give up first. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe I have to attack him. Ow. We'll have to see. I'm trying really hard not to die, but this is hard. My hands are getting sweaty for being all wrapped up on this goddamn keyboard. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Man, go ahead and use it. I'll dodge it. It'll be fine. I don't want to insult him because that sounds mean. I don't have any other healing items except for the snow piece. I refuse to use the snow piece. So, we're just gonna have to hope for the best here. I don't want to eat a snow person, man! This is your last chance before my special attack! Yeah, okay. Oh, shit! I'm gonna, like, die as soon as his special attack happens, depending on what it is. Papyrus is considering his options. Spare. Behold, my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <clears throat> oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. The Pyrus is getting ready for a regular <laughs> attack. Sigh, here's an absolutely normal attack. <laughs> Ow. Oh jeez. This is a really mean normal attack, and there's a special attack. Cool. Dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, God! Get it away from me! Oh, Jesus! I'm alive. Okay. 
I have very low health right now. I'm one hit away from death. I have learned many things about myself today. One of those things is, oh shit, I would really like to nap right now. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, would like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Okay, spare. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Umdan's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quality will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. Nope, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I'll definitely stop on by because I don't want to be a dead little friend, do I? It'd be really embarrassing if I died right outside. Yeah, we'll go right into this door soon. Hey there, Papyrus. We'll talk to you. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh really? You're taking me somewhere? Okay, he's not taking me to the ledge that I thought he was going to. Wait, are you taking me back to your house? My house! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well maybe he'll feed me something. It's unlocked. Good. Hello there, Papyrus. What in the mother of fuck is going on in your room to create that fire lighting? Or is this your room? Whose rooms is whose? I don't know. Alright, let's just talk to Papyrus. It's a joke book. That's not Papyrus. Unless you want to call him a joke. Ah, uh, let's look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> it never ends. Welcome to my scenic home. Enjoy and take your time. All right. What is this? This is my brother's pet rock. He's always forgets. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> okay. Hello, kitchen. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Uh, it's your special attack. What? Catch that meddling canine. All right, I'm going after it. Curses. Oh my God, he just played trombone. Sans, stop plaguing my life with that in with incidental music. <laughs> Should I go after your... Should I go after your attack, dude? Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! It was just a bad episode. Don't judge me! <laughs> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up the sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> uh, I wanna go in Sans' room. 
The door is locked. Well, of course it is. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Your skeletal structure? All right. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yeah, why not? Oh, this is a nice little room. Is this your bed? That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. One in my hand, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Ooh, yeah, that's some clever wear. Writing you out there, buddy. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? I actually wanted to look around more your room more, but oh. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Okay. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C on your keyboard for dating hut. Oh. Oh ho ho! Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready to start uh, for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes? Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Hmm. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. <gasps> no, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! Yes? No! <laughs> you planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> oh, yeah! Look at my dating power! It's going up! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never win! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it, cool dude. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect Z. Is it because you're a cool dude? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Excellent tip. All clothing items can cools can be improved this way. All right. What about the basketballs? I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Yeah, anybody who doesn't have a heart like you? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. So there's nothing down here? All right. What about your face? My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. All right, yeah, let's check it out. Spaghetti! <gasps> Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so raw! This ain't any old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti! Finely aged in an oaken cast! Then cooked by me, Master Chef of Iris! Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Alright, I'll eat it! You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Gong! Gong! No! <laughs> my power is going over to the level! Oh gosh! Human! It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, 
Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Uh, what? What? Excuse you after our incredible date right there. I ate old spaghetti for you. You don't even have taste buds, do you? Oh. Oh, I'm ruined. He doesn't love me back. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How can I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> that is a very good point. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> I just got... friend zoned by Papyrus. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe this. Uh, <laughs> I got dumped by Papyrus and we didn't even do more than one date. Alright, that's fine, whatever. I'm just gonna go snoop. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. What's it say on it? Damn it. Alright, let's look at this. It's a box of bones. Hold up. The bookshelf is filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. <laughs> Action figures of many sexy robots. And then this skeleton thing. It's a beat-up pirate flag. Mm, he likes you because bones, eh? Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh. Alright. Am I still almost dead? Yeah. Yep, that is indeed a thing that's me. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Okay. Can I enter this bone area? Oh. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Yes, all right. I'll spend those, G those Gs, those gold coins, somewhere. Maybe either to go to the inn and heal myself up, or to buy food and heal myself up instead. Let's see what we can buy for... How much G do I have? 131 G! Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee <laughs> uh, If it wasn't 80 gold. Hello, traveler. Let's see what you got. All right. Bicycle. Heals 11 HP. Eat it twice. Okay, what about this? Heals 22 HP. So can I get by like a bunch of these? Yeah, all right. Okay, there you go. Now I can heal myself a little bit extra with this healing item, cinnamon bun, use. Ah, delicious, your HP was maxed out. All right. There. Now I don't have to worry about my progress virus being completely reversed. And I have two extra healing items for if I get really, really, really low. That'd be really bad. Have I killed any monsters yet? I have no XP, so I don't think I've killed anybody? I've devoured the vegetable, but I think that just like knocked it out. <laughs> so it was like a peaceful option, even though devouring something alive doesn't sound very peaceful. We'll see though. Oh god, the fog comes back. Does it just fade away? Oh, okay, alright, no I have to worry about fighting then. What is this? Oh, just ice! Alright, ice or crystals? We can continue moving on and see what's beyond the cave. Cave, ugh. Hey, sons. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? 
I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> the hell is... What are you talking about? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard. Over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard. Over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? <laughs> that is pretty funny. And neat. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Hello, sons. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna grill these. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Is there a shortcut back? Wow, nice. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Okay. Uh. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whippy cushions on your seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Ruby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think of my brother? He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Ha! Huh. I wonder if I could have gotten free food. Oh well. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah! Bon appetit! You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup falls in the, in the bottle fall, pours on your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Okay. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree but Pius tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. What's up? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yep. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Oh. Yeah, the echo flower. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Are you sure it's not you playing a trick on your brother? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 1,000 to 10,000 gold! Nope. Just kidding. Ruby, put it on my tab. It can't be 10,000 for two burgers. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Ugh. Okay. Grove said that your food is probably cold by now. Can I eat this? He doesn't even let me try. Oh well. I wanted to try and get free grub! So that way I get my health back up for free. And so the next time I play this game, if I have to go through a fight, I can just be like, nah, yeah, you know, that's alright, I'll get down to 1 HP and then heal it all up with a burger. Provided by... Well, Grillbees. Not really his hands, because he doesn't pay for it. Ever, apparently. Put it on my tab. Can I even have 10,000 gold? That would be interesting. I'd love to have 10,000 gold. He makes me walk all the way back. He totally made me think he was gonna talk about the actual talking flower. Ugh. Flowery! Flowey the flower! Let's hang out again sometime. Yeah. Well, let's see what's over here first. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take it out. Okay. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's use the box. I can take the butterscotch pie and the spider cider, but we can leave them in there for later. 
I don't trust getting hit by ice, so we're gonna see what happens if I go this way. I guess if I get hit by the ice, I get taken down here. Oh, hey, another flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Ooh. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Ah, oh, another camera. What's up with all the cameras around this place? Okay. Someone's spying on all the monsters, I guess. Damn it! I have to learn pattern recognition! But I never will, because that's not just who I am. I'm a reactionary gamer, so I'll just play like I react to things. Boom. Don't need to actually learn anything. 